What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and this channel really became popular when I started creating or actually recreating famous buildings in Revit and that's something that I haven't done in a while. Uh, I, I kind of stopped doing that and shared more of the tips and tricks uh, along the way that seems to be what most of you are searching for but I miss modeling some interesting buildings and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in today's tutorial. So I'm going to be modeling the amazing and uh, a truly great but weird uh, building, the Heli Stage uh, building. Now it's uh, quite, it looks kind of easy at first, it's just a simple cylinder, but there is some sort of a spiral that follows that cylinder which uh, looks really difficult to recreate, so I was thinking how can I recreate something like that in Revit and that's what this tutorial is going to be uh, all about. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. Now before I get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe, I make useful Revit tutorials each uh, week, I make multiple tutorials and also if you're interested in more long form content where I have more time to explain all of these advanced uh, topics in depth, check out my website balkanarctic.com. That's going to be the first link in the description just below the video. Uh, there I have both beginner, intermediate as well as advanced courses. All of these courses are either from one hour up to 16 hours long where I take the extra time to explain everything in depth. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. Okay, so here we are in Revit and let's get straight into the project. So let's go here to models, go to new, and then uh, for the template I'm going to be using the Balkan Arctic template, uh, the metric version. Now if you're interested in either the metric or the imperial version, it's available on my website and it's going to be the third link in the description. So check it out. Okay, now I'm just going to click OK and then uh, let Revit open up. So as soon as Revit opens up, uh, let's uh, go ahead and start. Uh, so first I want to start off with that spiral that looks like the most complex part of the project and I want to kind of outline it first uh, just to know where it is, just to get the, the, the idea for the dimensions. So what I'm going to do is just go here to floor, uh, then go to the circle tool and then just find the center here and then just make a 10 meter uh, radius circle. Okay, so once we have that we can go here to the center and then we can have something that's, I don't know, 5 meters like this. And then what I want to do is go here and just create a simple straight line here, just like that. Next, I want to move to the center and then go from the center and make another line here just next to that one. Hit the escape key a couple of times, there we go. Next, you want to go here to the modify tool and then go here to the split element. Uh, split element tool, SL is the shortcut, and then you want to split both the inner and the outer circle, hit the escape key a couple of times, move to trim and extend to corner, and then you want to fix this up by clicking here and here, here and here, and repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, so as you can see we have something that looks like a, I don't know, like a donut that has been eaten, just a little bit, maybe cut in uh, on one side. So anyways, we want to kind of finish this uh, this floor, go to the 3D view, this is what that looks like. Looks decent enough, so anyways, the next step is going to be selecting this and going here to Edit Boundary. Uh, oops, not the Edit Boundary, sorry, uh, Modify Sub-Elements. So then you want to find the one side of this, so perhaps this one, so either one or the other, I want this one, and then here you can type in a number, and I'm just going to type in 10 meters, and that's going to give me something that looks like this. So there we go, we have our spiral ramp for people to get up this uh, building. Now we're going to use this as reference in order to model the, the rest of the building. So the building is going to be modeled as an uh, in-place mass. So what you want to do is go here to masking and site, then you want to go to show mass so we can actually see what we're doing, and then you just want to go here to in-place mass. We can just call it mass 1, that's okay. Go into level 1 and of course you can't see anything, so let's go to site plan instead. Perfect. Then you want to find the center of this circle. So if you try, it's going to make it a bit hard to, to, to make sure that, to find that point. But here, as you can see, we have to kind of hover over the circle first, and then it's going to give you that center point. There we go. So when we go to the outside, okay, this doesn't seem to be the center. So uh, let's find a different solution. Let's go with a line from one side, make sure to go perpendicularly. 
there we go so just perpendicular to the other side giving it the center and then the center is going to be the midpoint of this line there we go okay this looks correct and then you just want to go like this to the kind of the, the outside of that circle hit the escape key a couple of times select this line delete it because we don't need it okay let's go back to the 3d view this is the circle we have and then you just want to go here to create form uh, go with the cylinder and then extend it just a little bit further uh, you can just set this up to whatever you might like let's go to 18 meters perfect Okay, so once we have this cylinder with our spiral in the center, now it's time to create that opening along that spiral. So you want to do that by using the spline through points tool in order to place that uh, line. So what I'm going to do is just go here, maybe to this point here on that side of the spiral, then let's see, and just following that floor spiral like this as you can see just make sure that it highlights before you place any points so maybe you want to go like that now you don't want too many points but you don't want too little either so you want to have something that looks like this this might be one too many but that's okay uh, we can work with that next you want to uh, basically select uh, the reference plane of each of these points and add a void shape that's going to be cutting the spiral so, or cutting the cylinder so let me show you how that works uh, you want to use set work plane and then pick out this kind of the vertical uh, plane of this point, select that, and then you want to go here and you can use a rectangle and just make sure to switch here to draw on work plane so it doesn't accidentally snap to something else. And then you just want to go from that point and just create something that looks like that. Okay, in this case it might be a bit odd, let's see. Okay, the height is okay, but still I want to move this down uh, just a little bit like that. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then you want to use the tab key, so just hover over the rectangle. The, as you can see, the whole thing lights up, so you just have to hit the tab key once to select this line, and then you can just extend it just a little bit outside of that, uh, of uh, the cylinder, because you want it to make sure that it cuts all the way out. Next, let's go to set work plane and then select this uh, point here. Let's try the rectangle here again. Okay, here it's more perpendicular. That's good. Uh, now the height, I'm just going to go with 2 meters or something like that. Hit the escape key. Again, using the tab key to select this and then extend it just a little bit outside. Perfect. And then you want to repeat that same process going all the way up. So select that rectangle. Go all the way to the inside the height at least 2.1 meters i don't know you can make it larger if you want and then extend it to the outside and again as i said you just want to repeat the whole process all the way up so i'm just going to skip that part because it's kind of repetitive okay now you can see i have finished all of these rectangles now i love the final one because it is a, a little bit different so for the final one what you want to do is go here to set work plane uh, of course, select that point, uh, just make sure that you select the vertical one, and you can toggle through the, the planes uh, by using the tab key as well. Uh, now, let's use that same rectangle, but in this case, let's make it really, really small, like this, really tiny. And then let's hit the tab key and extend this outward. Perfect, so we have our profiles. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to select the first few of these. Uh, now, you might run into trouble if you try to select all of these just like this, and then go here to void form. As you can see, it gives us an error message. Now. This might be for a wide, uh, uh, wide um, array of reasons or something like that, uh, so that there can be just a thousand different little reasons why it doesn't want to uh, work exactly how we want it. So I just suggest you select the first one, hold the control key and then select three or four, just like this, then go to create form, void form. There we go. So we have the beginning of our spiral. Uh, next, you want to hover kind of over that void, hit the tab key multiple times and, until you select that void, then find the edge, then hit the tab key a couple of times until you find that surface, select the surface, hold the control key, and then we can select perhaps one more, then you go to void form. As you can see, it's going to continue on like that. Then you want to continue. Let's see, oops. So again, select that void, select that final one, then let's try, let's try three at once. 
and let's try void form there we go it looks good and then finally for the last one uh, you want to do it kind of manually like this and then just hit the tab key a few times till you select that void again the tab key multiple times until you select this final face hold the control key select the small one and then go with void form just to connect it there to make it kind of small uh, like that now here we seem to have an issue so let's go back one step so here we want to go with that okay so I guess this this didn't go far enough to the outside so let's extend it like that and then let's try again uh, there we go hold the control key void form there we go looks perfect so we have kind of a nice little ending here, uh, just like the real building. And for the beginning, you want to do the same thing, but because the spiral doesn't go any, any further down, you can add just a simple point somewhere along this line, perhaps here, hit the escape key a couple of times, and then just use simple lines or a simple rectangle to, let's go to set work plane, select this one, just select, create a very kind of slim element here use the tab key to extend it just make sure to extend it far enough uh, and then go here to this void hit the tab key multiple times till you select the void then hit the tab key a couple of times to select that face and then select the rectangle here void form okay it doesn't want to cut uh, let's try cut the geometry ah so we seem to have a problem there. Let's go back. Maybe extend it below? I don't know. Uh, Revit does give you these uh, error messages and sometimes you can figure out what's going on and in a lot of cases you can't. There we go. So finally it... I guess this works for Revit. So there we go, we have our shape. Now, of course, uh, it's important to construct the curtain wall as well. Uh, now, that can be a little bit tricky, so what I suggest you do is select one of the faces, hold the control key, select the other face, and then you go here to divide surface. Uh, you can use the shortcut as well, as you can see there. Uh, so when it divides the surface, it goes into kind of something that looks like this, which it doesn't really work with the original building. It should be kind of everything at a 45 degree angle. Uh, so you want to go here to pattern and choose the rhomboid pattern and of course make it smaller. So let's go with 15 for this and 15 for this as well. Hit apply looks much better and then also you're, you might get issues here towards the edges uh, so I like to fix those issues by adding a grid ro rotation on one of these just like that and then as you can see it aligns properly on both sides uh, so once you have that uh, of course you can add uh, instead of just this simple rhomboid shape you can actually uh, create panels that go in there uh, so it's uh, it's not that difficult actually okay if you have a few more moments I can show you so let's go here to file uh, new and you have to create a new family it has to be a let's see so that should be a curtain uh, panel uh, pattern based open that up there we go then you want to select this whole kind of panel grid and choose the the rhomboid one there we go uh, next you want to select the whole thing you can go here to create form solid form make the rectangle and just make it really thin maybe something like i don't know let's go with 10 millimeters perfect and then you want to select that whole shape just like this and make it glass let's see Let's try glass. Perfect, so we have glass for that. And then also what you want to do is to have some sort of an edge. So for that, we can place a point here. In between a midpoint, set the, that work plane or set the work plane on that midpoint and then create a rectangle there so maybe something that looks like that and then you want to select one edge and then give it I don't know maybe an 80 or let's go with 50 millimeters offset on one side making it a total of 100 
Now here, of course, this should probably correspond to some existing panel that you want to create, but in this case, I'm just trying to make this look really simple. Let's make it a total of 200. There we go. So basically select the green reference lines and this as well by holding the control key and then going to solid form. And that looks like that. And then of course, you can select the whole shape by using the tab key and then you can add See, do you have any aluminum? No, it uh, doesn't matter. We can just leave it like this. Anyways, uh, let's just load it into the project. Uh, make sure to save it, of course, first. So let's save it on desktop as, let's just call it a simple panel. Maybe something like that. Uh, load it into the project. There we go. We're inside of the project. And then you can select both rhomboid shapes and then search for that panel and it should apply it as you can see so now we actually have it, actually have some mullions and all of that which is of course nice to have uh, so there you go that's how you can approach making a building like this now of course you can add floors in between so on and so forth and let's just finish this mess so you can do that in Revit later on uh, I think everybody uh, has the basic idea of how to model something like that the most complicated part here was the spiral and the whole kind of a mess and I hope I have shown you that uh, correctly so if you turn off show mass it's going to look even better when you just have that kind of spiral going on there so there you go I hope you have enjoyed this I hope it was fun and interesting and I hope you have learned something new so tell me in the comment section below is this a building that you were perhaps wondering how something like this can be built in Revit uh, and if you have any other ideas for any other buildings you can uh, of course suggest it and if I like the idea I might just create a tutorial on that okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe uh, make sure to like and share this video and uh, of course, uh, I'll see you in another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a few days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.